Hey, YouTubers, I'm back again, and this is an update on my garden uh, being saved from the 100 degree weather we had the two months on two months straight basically uh let's see three it was a good six weeks of hunting you know triple digits and uh it we, it just let up day before yesterday today is june 29th and we got a tropical storm uh off the coast of corpus christi so we're gonna get some rain in we got some in this morning we're gonna get some more in later on today thursday and friday uh, mostly cloud cover, so I uncovered everything that, You know just about everything just to uh, just in case we didn't get any rain in my area it always trick us We're supposed to get rain uh, But that experiment of covering this guys and giving them a whole nother climate basically what happened was this thing uh, Worked like a springtime climate. It changed summertime into springtime the, the temp temperature was lower when I went under this thing and also it was less sun rays. And so, I mean, everything came back alive. You look at my pepper plants, they were completely yellow when I started the first time I covered this and they, the leaves have gotten dark green. There's buds everywhere of new peppers about to explode. And these peppers are extremely hot. Um, the spinach, I got Indian spinach right there, and I got uh, oregano. The oregano back there isn't doing too well. Um, but that one is a uh, Greek oregano, one is Italian oregano. We'll see. These were the first victims of, of that summer heat. Just, I had purple whole peas here and corn i'm not sure if they fighting over the soil or what but they just they just killed over i had lots of purple hole plants in there they died uh these purple hole plants here uh should be a darker green but i exposed them to the sun thinking the rain was coming the day before yesterday and i don't know if they like the sun too much of the sun we have here so i'll keep an eye on them as you can see, my cucumber plant went crazy once I covered it. That this is this uh, trellis is a 72 inch. I, mean, I forgot how many inches. It's almost seven feet, and you can see this is a, this is a 10 by 10 tent frame, and they're literally holding on to the top already. They have they have flowers. Mostly, it's mostly male flowers in there. Uh, I got. Two females right here. I pruned it yesterday so I can see what's going on in there. And I got a female flower right there. And it never opened, so I don't know if she got germinated or not. But I still uh, white, uh, put some uh, male stuff on it. Male pollen on it just to try, you know, just just in case I missed it. I seen another female in here the other day, yesterday, but I don't see it now. She's in here somewhere. So either way, I got my sunflower right there so they can bring in the pollinators. I got uh, all kind of pollinating plants to try to bring in some pollinators. My, my tomatoes are looking good. This tomato plant got really, really dark green. And you can see there's a bunch of tomatoes under there. They might be ready to come out of there. But it's a nice little bunch. And I mean, I don't know what to say for this uh, this uh, bell pepper plant. But there are bell peppers everywhere in there. I mean, everywhere. I can't even film it. There's, there's so many in there. I'm not even going to touch it. But there's, there's probably about 20 bell peppers in there. And these are just flourishing. These are bell pepper plants, and they all but died uh, from that heat. They all but died. <sighs> Let's see. If I back out... Those purple hole plants there are flourishing. 
they, they're the bush type, and, and I mean, they just took off. They obviously like it up under the tent. The watermelon was not growing at all. If they finally start growing and getting tendrils, so I went ahead and trellised them. You know, the first video, I didn't even have this trellis. The second video, maybe the third video is when I finally got this trellis installed because they weren't even growing. So they're heading on up. My tomato plants, they just won't do anything. I, I know it's because of the heat. You know, sun and heat, they just won't do anything. I think I have some up under here. They're hitting back up under there. I uh, actually got more tomatoes coming in. Look at that. I was wrong. I got two there. Put those three in there. This one looked like it busted open. Don't look too happy. 